Hi guys, I wanted to do a first impressions video on um, the Physician's Formula BB cream. Let me turn that down, sorry. I'm trying to make my video slightly less boring. So I have Pandora playing. Just kind of to fill the empty spaces in my videos because I'm an editor fail. Anyway, so this is in the color the color is light medium. There were only two colors. There was light medium and medium deep, I think, or medium dark. Um, and I've heard a lot of really good things about this. I originally wanted to try and afford the Lancome um, BB cream that was reformulated, that was a tinted moisturizer. So I kind of decided against that because I don't really, I, I kind of get really pissed with American BB creams. And instead of going on to a rant about that, I will just open this package up. So this is claiming to be an all-in-one BB cream, 10 plus BB benefits. Smoothing, moisturizing, protecting, firming, priming, and filling. Perfecting, concealing, brightening, line softening, and long wearing. SPF 30. get this out that'd be great oh that's so weird they like put it so you have to completely rip open the package or maybe they're supposed to open it from the bottom genius okay so this is what the tube looks like you know it's the average size that a lot of them come in this is 1.2 fluid ounces it has titanium dioxide and this is actually made in one of my hometowns, Azusa, California. That is so funny. Um, so it says here, an ultra blendable and lightweight, lightweight cream, effortlessly, uh, da, 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 effortlessly <laughs> can't talk today, effortlessly glides on, instantly infusing moisture, re refining skin surface, and providing protection from the environment. Skin looks and feels smooth, glowing, and naturally flawless. Ultra versatile beauty balm simplifies your morning beauty routine by delivering the benefits of a moisturizer, foundation, and SPF protection in one easy to use product. It's claiming it replaces all those things. So, let's just go ahead and dive into the product. First of all, the packaging is really cute. I'm a sucker for glitter and sparkles. I'm a typical girl. And I like how it's pretty shimmery and shiny. This is supposed to be uh, the actual color of the BB cream. And you can also see it kind of at the bottom right here. Um, it's a typical squeezy tube. You're supposed to, I guess, take this off. So it's nice to know if your product's been opened or not. Sometimes you never know with drugstore, to be honest with you. The hole is, you know, decent size. It's not too big, not too small. Um, I don't see an expiration date on this. Sometimes you really gotta check with all your makeup. Let's see. Um, there's usually a little... Uh, I there's usually like a little container with the lid open and they'll have like 24 months, 12 months. But I don't see anything like that on here. Hold on one second. I just cleaned my house so I don't want to like start dropping crap everywhere. Anyway, so squeezy tube, this is the product color, so you can actually kind of see what's, you know, going on in there, if that's going to match your skin. Now, to be honest, since there were only two colors, this looks pretty freaking dark for something that is supposed to work for light skin tones. Um, since I did self-tan, I really have no idea what color I would be in reference to a MAC foundation, um, but I did just pick up the Dior Forever Flawless foundation, um, and that was in the colors uh, 23 in peach, and it matches pretty good. So I really don't know, like I guess it's like a light medium skin tone. Anyways, so this is what the product looks like. Okay, so it's kind of creamy, it doesn't run, so that's kind of nice. I'm tired of seeing them run down. So right away I can kind of see a slightly pink tone to it. So that's the color. It does blend out pretty nice. It's pretty soft. Kind of disappointed in the pinky tone of the color. But, you know, what are you going to do? But it does seem to blend in really nicely. 
after you like mess with it for a minute. So maybe if even it's not the correct color exact, I mean it still looks kind of nice. Smells like sunscreen. But other than that, there's no really like big perfumey scents to it. Stuck my nose in it. It's not totally unpleasant. I mean, it's, sunscreen's not my favorite smell. So, you know, I'm just grateful that there's not like a bunch of artificial smells to it because sometimes that can really irritate uh, sensitive skin, which I think I have because pretty much everything makes me break out. Uh, so as you can see, I have nothing on my face. I did earlier today did my um, my routine with the uh, wash, tone, and um, moisturize, and then my eye cream. So this is just, you know, this already I already put on my moisturizer, so I can't attest to whether it's really like super moisturizing or not. But since I have oily skin, um, I'm kind of hoping it's not super moisturizing. So this is just kind of something to throw on. So as you can see, the color is off, but that's okay, because I will blend down. I actually think I like it. There seems to be a good amount of coverage to it, I'm really surprised. I've been so disappointed with all the American BB creams. Put that over my eye, blend that into my hairline, blend it into my ear, down. This is actually really nice. This actually has a really nice amount of coverage. And I have direct sunlight from my door facing me and I don't see a line of demarcation. Maybe on the camera it will show up when I watch it later I'll be like ah! But so far I can't really see it does blend in pretty good. This is really nice. It's a very creamy texture, but it almost has like a gel, slightly gel feeling to it. Like a creamy, but very smooth kind of gel. Now this line does come with a concealer and a powder, which I opted out of. I didn't feel like I should waste my money on it since I have concealer and powder. But if I guess this was going to be your only routine, then it'd be something to worth looking into. Excuse me. I know my hair always looks a mess lately in my past videos. I'm just excited that my hair is long enough to put up. <laughs> and um, my bangs have grown enough so I can just have them back. Because let me tell you, as a mom, especially of an uh, eight month old, yeah, eight months now, oh my god, he's old. Um, I need my hair out of my face because he will pull the hell out of it. I'm actually just grabbing really little amounts of the product at a time instead of just trying to smear it all over my face in one big blob. I'm trying to see if I can build up any coverage on any extra problem, super problem areas. Okay, just blend. All right. So this is the product. I really like it. Now I would definitely set this with a powder. This is a little too like shiny for me and it's a little too dewy, healthy. I think it's really funny because when people say, oh yeah, you know, I want a really natural product, I think I'll use a BB cream. That's great, but it's not really looking natural on your face because your face is not this shiny normally. <laughs> My skin personally is not shiny when I wash and everything. It's 
you know, not like matte or dry looking, but it's definitely not shiny like this. So this is supposed to be a youthful glow. Okay, the color works okay on me so far. Like I said, I did self tan. Before it was a uh, MAC NC20. So um, if you are fair, if you are particularly fair, like NC20 and NW20, um, I don't think this is gonna work for you. I think this would turn really orange on you. Um, unfortunately, because this is a really nice BB cream, I'm really liking this. Um, it has really nice coverage to it and I I would I feel confident enough to just walk out the door like this I mean putting some powder on but I don't feel the need to put um, concealer or anything else on even even on my under eye circles it seems to have covered it pretty nicely um, I'm assuming you would be able to put makeup on top of this since it claims to be priming and filling um, so that's my first impression. I really, really like this. Now, I'll, I'll definitely do an update on whether or not this really held up. I mean, it's supposed to be long wearing, according to the box, but usually when I, so with oily skins um, and slightly dewy products, long lasting isn't exactly the word that comes to mind. So, I mean, if you have maybe regular, normal, even combination to dry, I think this is really nice. Definitely worth checking out. Um, I think if you're too, if you're too, uh, if your skin tone is too deep, you're not going to be able to find a color either. They basically just made colors for people in the middle. So hopefully maybe if this really takes off, they'll make a, re a really fair one and a really dark one. But, you know, maybe with summer coming up you can get a tan and work it. I'll definitely be wearing this to like the beach or the pool. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye!